Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure you guys might be aware by now, last week I did put up a video showing you guys the top 3 modded outfits and clothing glitches currently working in GTA 5 online after the Smugglers Run DLC. And going off the feedback, it seems like you guys really seem to enjoy these clothing glitches. So I thought that it only made sense, I went ahead and put together another top 3 working clothing glitches video. So as always, if you guys do support this channel and you do want to see me cover more clothing glitches in the future, all I ask is you drop a like down below and feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos without further ado let's get into the video okay so for the first modded outfit in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can get this rare tron outfit now i will say there is like two three different versions of this outfit that you guys can do depending on what look you guys are looking for so in some cases you can have a tube coming from your mouth in other cases you can go for the hat mask and accessories glitch so i will cover both styles of outfit so you guys can go ahead and put your own little unique touch on this outfit Okay, so the first thing you guys want to do is apply any of the Tron suits to your character. The great thing about this glitch is it does work with every single Tron suit and there's a ton of different colors to choose from. So if any of you guys want a certain color scheme for this modded outfit, you'll be able to do so easily. Now, as you guys can see, when I go into my wardrobe, as soon as I go to change the top, it changes the entire outfit. So what we want to do from here to change the top but keep the Tron pants, we want to go down to the top section, you want to go down to special and you want to apply the Nagasaki black hoodie as you guys can see now as soon as my character is wearing the nagasaki black hoodie i'm able to split this outfit in half using it for more glitches now from here you want to go over to any clothing store in the game now as soon as you guys arrive at the clothing store head off to the counter and then save this as an outfit now once you guys have saved this as an outfit go up to the outfit section and you want to go down and apply the green flight suit to your character as you can see me doing on screen now once your character is wearing the flight suit you want to leave the clothing store and simply head over to the strip club so you're probably better off going to the clothing store that's right next to the strip club to save you guys a bunch of time in the long run nonetheless as you guys can see once you're in the strip club you simply want to pull off your interaction menu you want to flick over to your tron outfit and then you want to simply walk out of the strip club and then bang as you guys can see your character gets this very rare and modded looking tube coming from his mouth now from here you guys can go ahead and save Save this as an outfit if you want it looks pretty sick in my personal opinion or if you guys do prefer to go for a different option then head back to your apartment you still want to be wearing the outfit that you just made pull up your interaction menu and you simply want to apply any of the masks that you think will go nice with this outfit so as you guys probably know there is a ton of new masks that look really funny with this new mask hat and glasses glitch I personally like to go for the Bugster one because I think it looks decent with the Tron lights. But like I said, it's completely up to you. You can choose whatever one you like. Now, once you guys are wearing the mask, you simply want to do as I do on screen. Run straight past your telescope in your apartment. Now, instead of tapping it and then running away like I used to, what you actually want to do is double tap right because that will actually cancel it out as you guys can see on screen. This actually took me three goes. I'm not going to lie. It is quite tedious, so it might take a few goes. But as you guys can see, once I walk away from my telescope, I pull up my interaction menu again and now from here I'm able to add as many hats, accessories, glasses, whatever I want on top of the mask. Of course the mask isn't showing up yet but as soon as I walk away, bang, my character is now wearing this rare modded bug star Tron outfit and from here all I have to do is just head downstairs and then save this as an outfit once more. And of course you can add stuff like a duffel bag onto the outfit. Me personally, I decided not to, but if you guys do also want to add a duffel bag, I will leave a link down below in the description how you guys can do so. However, once you guys have done all the parts to put this modded outfit together, don't forget to go into your wardrobe or the nearest clothing store and then save this as an outfit. And then you guys can turn off your Xbox or PlayStation, come on the next day and you will always have this outfit saved. Moving into the second glitch in this video and that's how to move any logo from any t-shirt or hoodie onto the yellow coverall. Okay, so the first thing you guys want to do is get a friend or a random online player who's a VIP to make you his bodyguard. Once you guys accept his bodyguard invite, you want to head over to any clothing store, go to the top section as you can see me doing here, and then simply select whatever top has the logo that you guys want to transport onto any other item of clothing. So as you can see, I would probably suggest going to your special tops as these are the more exclusive logos, as you guys can only unlock these during like special events 
or if you've done like special challenges like you get 10,000 headshots or something for a sniper so once you guys have selected a top that you want to use the logo from in my case I'm using the Halloween special top as you can see knife after dark you want to go up to the counter and press right on the d-pad now once you've done that you want to save this as a brand new outfit once you've saved it as a new outfit you simply want to back out of this menu now go and select whatever clothing you want to transport the logo onto now in my case I actually want to do it with the highest coveralls just to prove to you guys that you can do it on literally any form of clothing whether it be coveralls jumpers jacket however once you've selected the coveralls you want to go ahead and save this also as a brand new outfit so as you guys can see I save it as glitch in this case because it's actually a little glitched outfit so once you've saved it as an outfit you want to move away from the counter pull up your interaction menu and simply select the outfit with the logo that you guys want to move onto the coveralls so in my case I called it blood s as you boys can see now once my outfits change you want to go down to chains just put any old chain on it doesn't make a difference and then after that you want to scroll down to gloves now when you guys get to gloves you just want to flick through them as I do and whilst you guys are doing that you want to get your friend who's a VIP to switch through the bodyguard clothing now as you boys can see on screen when he's flicking through the clothing and you guys are changing the gloves bang as you guys can see any logo from any t-shirt converted onto your coveralls now once you guys have got the logo on your coveralls you simply just want to go back over to the counter and save this as a new outfit like I said there is tons of different t-shirts with logos so hopefully you guys will come out with some good mix and matches do be sure to send me the pictures if you guys do go ahead and do this glitch on Twitter I'll leave my Twitter and everything down low in the description just simply at me laser gaming and I'll be sure to go and check them out So going off feedback from previous videos, you guys seem to really appreciate it when I start these videos as if I just came on for the first time from scratch. So as you guys can see, I'm just currently purchasing a standard outfit just to go and show you guys I'm not using any currently saved outfit for this glitch. And as you guys can also see, I'm going to be calling it green bag because that's the rare item that we're going to be acquiring in this video. Nonetheless, the first thing you guys want to do is head over to any ammunition in the game and go over to the top section and you want to select racing jerseys. Now from here, you guys can select any racing jersey that you like the look of. In my case, I'm going to be using this extreme one as you can see on screen. You guys can go ahead and use the same one as me if you'd like, but this will work with every single jersey. Nonetheless, once you guys have purchased the jersey, you want to back out, you want to pull up your interaction menu, go to inventory and you want to click show body armor. Always put a body armor on if you have got one currently on then click show this will work with any body armor as you guys can see super light heavy it won't make a difference now once you guys have equipped body armor you want to back out again you want to go down to parachute and you want to flick your parachute on now if you guys don't currently have a parachute on you simply head over to the counter as i do on screen and simply purchase a parachute this is why i'd suggest doing this glitch in ammunition and not a clothing store now once you guys have purchased a parachute then you can pull up your interaction menu go down to parachute and flick it on and then bang as you guys can see your character will now have this rare green bag from the drop zone game mode which no one else can get in free roam making it one of the rarest items and like i said the best thing about this glitch is it will actually save onto your outfit once you save it as an outfit so you can switch through your outfits combine other clothing glitches with this to put together some crazy modded outfits me personally i already have a sick clothing glitch that i know will work good with this so i'm probably going to put together a modded outfit stay tuned for that video dropping in the next day or two and do be sure to leave a comment let me know if that's something you guys would like to see because i have been reading through all of your comments recently and i have noticed a ton of comments from you guys asking about some more clothing glitches nonetheless as you guys can see once i save it as an outfit right here i'm able to flick through all of my outfits and bang my character still got this rare green bag and the only downside to this glitch is it currently only works with female characters you guys know me i've posted 95 percent of my clothing glitches have been on my male character and i've always got comments from you guys asking me do i know any that work on a female character so this one is for you guys however i will be working on a method to get this on my male character so do be sure to leave a comment and let me know if that's something you guys would want to see nonetheless that's going to do it for me guys an awesome clothing glitch showing you how to get this rare green bag from drop zone and save it as an outfit if you guys have enjoyed this video and you do want to see me post more clothing glitches in the future all i ask is you drop a like down below and if you guys are new around here feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video it's the og the only these fuck boys man they wanna know me it's playtime but i've got a pokey four five got the hammers on me the 16 with the really still east phone jabs like where's the smokey Oh no, man, I hear the police. Run, 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 run the police. Me around for police.
Me no run for this weekend.